Hello and welcome to the presentation about the United Kingdom. Uh, this is a Matulita question, which is also sometimes called Great Britain, and it is focused on uh, the basic facts about the British Isles. Uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce some of these basic facts. Uh, then I'm going to talk very briefly about geography and flag. And finally, I'm going to tell you uh, or list some important uh, English. Scottish and Welsh landmarks. First of all, the United Kingdom is composed of four individual countries, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. These are surrounded by the North Sea, by the North Atlantic Ocean, uh, there is Irish Sea between the uh, island of Ireland and Great Britain, and there is also the English Channel, between France and Britain. Now, terminology is always important. When we are talking about the United Kingdom, we mean these four countries I have just mentioned. When we are talking about Great Britain, we mean the large island where we can find England, Scotland and Wales. And when we are talking about the British Isles, we mean these two islands, that is Great Britain and Ireland, and also all other islands which are surrounding these two land masses. Uh, this includes many and many thousands of islands. The population of the United Kingdom is uh, roughly 67 million people. As you can see, the population is rising when we take a look on the cities, the most important are, of course, the capital cities. London is not just the capital of England, but the capital of uh, the country as a whole. Uh, Edinburgh is uh, the capital of Scotland, and be careful about the pronunciation, pronunciation here, it's Edinburgh. Cardiff is the capital of Wales, and Belfast is the capital of Northern Ireland. However, we can find the three largest cities in England, London, Birmingham and Manchester. When we focus on the geography, we can immediately see that uh, the north is far more mountainous than the south. We can even say that, uh, or quite similarly, we can say that uh, the south is quite flat uh, whereas north is quite hilly. Uh, however, uh, there are no large mountains uh, compared to the Alps or uh, even to the mountains in the Czech Republic, uh, since the highest uh, mountain on the British Isles has only uh, 1,345 meters. The United Kingdom has a beautiful flag, which is composed of three individual flags. The, the cross of St. George of England, the cross of St. Andrew of Scotland, and the cross of St. Patrick of Ireland. Together composed, they constitute the flag of the United Kingdom, which is called Union Flag. However, uh, if you have this flag and you're on a ship, the flag is called Union Jack. What about the flag of Wales, you may ask? The flag of Wales is a dragon, uh, which uh, isn't included uh, in the flag of the United Kingdom. When we ask why, uh, there are two possible answers. Uh, the one is static. Uh, fitting the dragon onto the flag would be quite impossible, according to some sources. Other, more reliable sources uh, speak about the fact that when the flag was put together in 1606, Wales was officially part of England and therefore, according to English people, doesn't have the right to be in the flag. However, uh, Welsh people are I suppose not very happy about it. Now uh, let's look on some of the landmarks. I will start in the north 
and I will continue south until we reach, well, not France, hopefully, but uh, the south of England. Uh, in the north, uh, we have uh, the famous Loch Ness, a very large lake, uh, which is one of the most popular sites for tourists to see in Scotland. Uh, there are stories of a monster living there, a Loch Ness monster, and uh, these stories are actually totally and absolutely true. The highest mountain of the whole United Kingdom can be also found in Scotland. It's called Ben Nevis and it rises to the height of 1345 meters above sea level. The capital city of Scotland is called Edinburgh and it's a beautiful city which is uh, next to the coast of the sea and uh, which is also surrounded by tall hills or even mountains we may call it. I recommend visiting Edinburgh very much. The border between Scotland and England was not always where it lies now. In the Roman times, a so-called border was uh, made by a long piece of fortification called Hadrian's Wall because it was constructed under the orders of Emperor, Roman Emperor Hadrian. And uh, this is a wall that connected both shores of Great Britain. Uh, many fortresses and outposts were on the wall and the easternmost outpost was called the Newcastle, and today there is of course the city of Newcastle. Moving on very briefly to Northern Ireland. Uh, Northern Ireland is quite fascinating because it is a part of the United Kingdom which is not on the, on the island of Great Britain, but uh, it is uh, on the island of Ireland. Uh, therefore, uh, the island is shared by two countries, the United Kingdom and Republic of Ireland. The capital city of Northern Ireland is called Belfast and it is a city which is uh, infamous for many conflicts in the past several decades. Uh, Belfast is uh, the capital of Northern Ireland, but uh, it is also a symbol of the British rule over the Irish people. In the beginning of the 20th century, or rather to say in the first half, uh, Ireland, uh, formerly a part of the United Kingdom, became independent, not without any violence, uh, but the English uh, maintained control over the north part, today called Northern Ireland. Uh, there are still some Irish people, especially in the IRA, that is the Irish Republican Army, uh, that would uh, rather see the, the entire island as a part of the Republic of Ireland. For these reasons, uh, streets of Belfast were quite often flooded with conflict and violence, especially between the Irish people or the IRA and British police or British army. Uh, hopefully, uh, things will improve uh, in the future, and in the past few years, they really have improved. But uh, we can only hope that what the future holds will not be any more violence. In between these two islands, there is another quite large island called the Isle of Man, and this island is most famous for its uh, motorcycle racing uh, competition which uh, takes place there every year. Uh, this is uh, some uh, of the most dangerous and mo most insane racing uh, which you will see in the world. So uh, I first of all recommend to uh, watch some YouTube videos about these races and secondly I hope that this race will be eventually cancelled. Again, we have to see. Now, moving on to Wales, and by this I of course mean one of the countries of the United Kingdom, not the large mammal. Wales is a place of 
beautiful landscapes, booming industry, but also a place where you can find local names and street signs in two languages, English and Welsh. Welsh is a Gaelic or Celtic language, which is quite different from English. And this is also the reason why a lot of places have quite strange names from our perspective, and especially compared to other places in England or Scotland. The capital city of Wales is Cardiff. And the capital city of England is of course London. And I have just a few more places I would like to talk about. Channel Tunnel is an underwater tunnel connecting France and the United Kingdom. And if you ever go to the United Kingdom and you decide not to fly there, uh, the chances are that you will either use the Channel Tunnel or you will go by ferry to the port of Dover. I would definitely recommend using the ferry since uh, if you are lucky and the weather is nice, you uh, are able to see the White Cliffs of Dover, uh, which is also why England is called the White Island or Albion. Uh, these cliffs are called the Seven Sisters. The Isle of Wight is an island which is south of Great Britain, and it is an island which has been a popular destination for British people to go on holiday. Uh, British people, of course, often visit foreign countries, but uh, if they don't and if they want to swim in the, uh, in the sea or ocean, they usually choose the Isle of Wight because uh, of its southern location. Uh, the Isle of Wight has, uh, was also a favorite destination for Queen Victoria. And the last place I would like to mention here is Cornwall. Cornwall is part of England, uh, which can be found in the southwest, and it includes the westernmost point of England. Cornwall is beautiful and it's a place where you can go along the coast, walking on the cliffs and sometimes swimming in the sea. If there's one place uh, in England I would recommend to visit, it would be this one.